I will be explaining uh, like creating graph using adjacency matrix. So in previous video, I have explained uh, graph creation using adjacency list. But we can represent graph in matrix form also. In various problems, you will be given matrix as an input and that matrix represent graph. So like it's important to know like how we can create a graph using adjacency matrix. So I'll be using C++ and concept of object oriented programming. So I've created a class known as graph and there will be like various graphs and those graphs are object of the class graph. So suppose I have created this graph and the name of this is G1. So G1 is an object of class graph. So inside class there will be data member like attributes which are the characteristics that every object shares. So it will contain number of vertices that is int v and I have created pointer to pointer variable that is int pointer pointer adj and this pointer to pointer variable will contain the pointer to 1d array like this pointer to pointer will be an array of pointers so suppose this is an array and inside this it will have the base address of 1d array so it will contain a one dimensional array inside every location okay so by this way we can represent adjacency matrix dynamically so like i'll be creating 2d array dynamically and the size of it will be number of vertices so there are four vertices so its size will be number of vertices okay so by this way we can create 2d array dynamically okay so basically this is 0 1 2 and 3 and this is 0 1 2 3 okay so in order to initialize the value of data members i have created a constructor and inside this i have initialized our attributes like number of vertices and have created array of pointers to 1d array dynamically using new keyword and have initialized it with zero so basically two for loops we have to use so at location adj0 new int v so at location adj of zero i have created new int v which means new 1d array of size v and have initialized it with zero okay so by this way we can initialize our data members now after this i have created a user defined function like instance member function known as add edge function the task of add edge function is to represent the connection as one like if the vertex is connected we can write it using one and if the vertex is not connected, then we have to write zero. So suppose in order to represent this graph in adjacency uh, matrix, basically the thing is I need to create 2D array. So I have created it dynamically 0, 1, 2, 3. The size of this, the number of 1D array is equals to the number of vertices and the number of uh, locations or the number of cells in 1d array will be equal to number of vertices so suppose like 0 and 1 is connected so if 0 and 1 is connected then i will represent this connection using 1 and suppose like 1 and 2 is connected so i'll write 1 in this 1 and 2 location okay so 
as the graph is undirected so i've used this like if 1 and 0 is connected then we need to connect 0 and 1 also like if uh, 1 and 0 i am writing here 1 so we need to write 1 in 0 and 1 also okay so by this way we can represent undirected graph okay and i have created a separate instance member function the task of this is to print adjacency matrix okay so in main function i have created the object of the class graph that is g and have called instance member function that is add edge function in order to represent this graph and have called g dot print okay so basically g dot add edge what it will do it will uh, move to zero row and first column like this suppose zero row and first column and will write one okay so this adjacency matrix is being represented by 2d array that is uh, array having pointer pointing to 1d array and have created it dynamically so this is the matrix which i have created like it will move to zero row that is zero location and will go and place one over here then if zero and one is connected then we need to go to one and in zero we need to place one so by this way we can create undirected graph i hope that this concept is being cleared okay so if we execute this The output will be, yeah, see, these are the adjacency matrix.